Welcome to Breaking Down the Game. I'm Tyron Johnson, 10 year pro, currently playing in France. With Breaking Down the Game, I wanted to break down the game of basketball through film study and tips and drills that you can use to help improve your game. So sit back, pay attention, hope you learn something so you can go out there and make them pay. Let's get it. Jokic is one of the best bigs in the league. He's a triple-double machine. He plays the game at a high level. Let's get straight to it. In a low post, the guy's a bull. He's 7 feet, 280 pounds. You have to deal with him when he's on the block. He's really trying to get to that right-hand hook at all times. First thing first, I notice he's never really posting on the block. He's either in that mid-range area or up the lane. If a coach is telling you to post on the block, please smack him. <laughs> Not really, but that's old school basketball. It limits you. If you're a little up the lane or in the mid post, you have way more options to work with. He likes to rip through quickly and get angles. He's looking for angles all the time. Like I said, he's a big boy. So once he gets you on that rip, he's just going straight through you. If you defend it well, he usually spins back, scan the situation, and then play out of it. He has this one move that is tough to stop. I mean, he tries to get you with the up and under, but if the defender plays good defense, he quickly goes into this spin cycle. That quick spin is deadly, especially on smaller defenders. Draymond Green couldn't do anything with this. That skills. Jokic has a high release on his jump shot. That makes it difficult for defenders to block his shot. Gobert is seven foot tall, which is crazy, and he has crazy wingspan, and he shoots it over him like it's nothing. My shot is similar, so I know the advantages of this type of shot. He needs a little time on his shot. It's not a quick shot, but he shoots on the perimeter very strategically, especially at the three. He'll shoot it if you disrespect him, but it's not his first option. When he's in the mid-range, it's quicker because it's so unorthodox. And with this high release, it's kind of difficult to defend. You have to respect his ability to shoot. He has a nasty head fake. It's slow, yet quick and efficient. He sets you up for a ton of up and unders. In this play, he just puts this guy in a blender. Many times as he's bullying in the post, he's using a secret weapon, his elbows. Just like I tell you, guys about the chicken wing on the perimeter, he does it in the low post. He butt bumps you and butt bumps you and then throw those elbows to get around you. You see how AD is struggling every time he takes a dribble? He's throwing a vicious elbow in between every dribble. Booty bump, booty bump, elbow, bucket. Elbow. He has that one leg shot. It's actually a travel though. His pivot foot is normally the foot that comes up first. That's a travel. It's a good shot though because it's unorthodox and it's tough to see it coming. We call it a dirt shot, but it's actually a little bit different. Dirk's shot was more like a step back and he would raise his knee up to get more separation. And he would use his knee as a shield. But Jokic's shot is like a one-legged runner. He just wants to throw your timing off. See, in this play, he's given the illusion that he's going to penetrate baseline, but he's really just setting him up for a runner slash fade. But he can do really big time damage with this shot. Jokic do a lot of little, little things great. Many of his attacks come off screens. Look at how much space he creates off this screen. Especially with his big body, it's tough for players to get around him so easily. I always tell guys, if you want to score more, set and come off screens better.
He also has great hands. You can tell he does or did a lot of hand drills. That definitely, that definitely helped his touch. He's one of the few centers you'll see shooting floaters like a guard. When you study Jokic's game, you'll see that his most deadly asset is his passing ability. He averaged seven assists as a center last season. I mean, the guy even played point guard some possessions. When I study his passing, I can see a lot of soccer influences in his passing. If you play FIFA, you will know one of the best passes is the lead pass. Jokic lead his teammates to buckets by throwing the ball to a particular spot. Let's focus on his eyes. Look at how as soon as he gets the ball, his eyes are looking. My coach has helped me with this this year. Let's look at this play. His head is already turned as the ball is in the air. He's scanning the situation. He sees what's open. He takes it to another level by also looking the opposite direction to shift the defense. He can really read the game. He's a quarterback on a basketball court. Soon as he gets a board, he's looking up the court, reading for that pass down court. That's just like a post route that Tom Brady is throwing downfield. <laughs> Some people call it a baseball pass too. His teammates help him by staying active. This is very common in Europe, but even over here, he would still be one of the best passers in the world. He just knows how to play the game. If your teammate dribbles at you, it's either a handoff or a backdoor. He really keeps the game simple. Double team comes, he knows someone will be open. So he spins baseline and he has two open targets. This play, he is, he is the cutter of the dribble. But the next play, this time he hits the corner guy. That's why he's high level. When that double team come, you got to make a quick decision so that you don't get trapped. Jokic is going to be a problem. He can do everything without the need of athleticism. He has a good mix of new school and old school. Please leave comments to let me know what you think I missed or what you liked about the breakdown. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Besides that, you can go to my website and get my make and pitch scoring system and my ball handling program to work on your game as you study these breaks downs. Besides that, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, make them pay.